Yo, 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 yo. It's John in the motherfucking house in Dope Talk TV Studios. I'm with my dog, GLT Tone, for the second time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your boy is back. Are we back and ready? Yes, with sir. An, with, an, with another episode, right? Another one. Another one. <laughs> another one. I know you like the instrument, bro. Yes, sir. You know, I'm an OG, man. I'm old school, man. That's all you be playing, bro. Yeah, uh, Tupac. That's, that's, he's the GOAT. That's the GOAT for me. Like, Tupac is a way of life. That's crazy, man. One more time. One more time. One more time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what's been going on with you, bro? Ah, the usual, man, working. Your boy always working. I don't do nothing else. I'm going to be working, you know. So, um, you know, being being there for the community, uh, education, on the firearms and you know, training and just doing what I what I love to do and get my team together. Shouts out to Almighty CP. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, bro. Shout out to you, bro. That's what's up, man. So you've been working during the week and you're still doing your thing out on the range, man. I need to I need to go back out there, bro. You overdue, man. I, I didn't think you was way gonna overdue this long, but yeah, you overdue. Yeah, bro. Because it, whatever the fuck I learned, it's probably out the fucking window, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's usually the case. That's why it's about the reps. You got to put the reps in, and you definitely need to get out there now because you know. Yeah, because some shits, you know, I don't know what's going on right now, bro. But it's kind of crazy out here, bro. Yes, sir. It's right. it's crazy, man. Yeah, things things are changing. Um, I mean, I could dig it, you know, but at the same time, uh, I cannot dig it. So I can say I'm a 50-50 on it, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you only live once, so we just go with the flow and make things happen. Hey, man, che- che- cheers to that, bro. Cheers to that. I'm drinking, uh, drinking some soda. You know what I mean? <laughs> that good soda pop. That's that soda pop. It ain't no Bud Light, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I'm just kidding. I'm just talking about Well, they shit. going crazy on Bud Light yeah, right now. Yeah, bro. In, man. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know, man. Hey. I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of agree with it. I get it. But, like, it's a little bit too far. Like, you know, why put it on a beer can, though? Bro, I. You know, I, like. I mean, that's too much. It's it's a little it's a little bit too much, man. Yeah. Like. Let's, let's be real, bro. Like a beer, that's like us putting it on a fucking Pepsi can, or you know, like with kids. You know, it's just like I feel like that flag is more for like adults. I agree. I agree. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I got I got kids, so I, my kids don't push that on them. You know, I'm everybody entitled to their rights. Everybody entitled to do what oh, you yeah. want to do. But those are my kids, so I I don't they don't they're not old enough to even understand what's going on right now, bro. I got I went into Circle K and. It was on the Skittles, literally on the Skittles. I took a picture of it, but it was. I, it was on the Skittles. It was, literally, I'll show you the picture, but it was on the Skittles. And I mean, I get like it I said, it's a rainbow. I get it because it's a rainbow. Like, yeah, but no, but, but the, I'm gonna show you the picture. You're gonna be, <laughs> you're gonna be like, what the hell? And you know, yeah. like I said, I have nothing against anybody. That, you know, you do what you want to do, whatever. But my kids, you know, and, and then the, the Skittles are at you know low level. So as soon as the little kid walk in the store. They want some Skittles. They walk right to the Skittle pack. Now I got to answer questions that I was not prepared to, to be answering right now to answer my four-year-old child. What, what does this mean? Because the whole Skittle pack was made for, yeah. you know, the, the whole... And then the, they're, they're, I don't know. It's it's just one thing when it comes to the kids, man. Like, when it comes to the kids, like, I don't know, dude. It's... You shouldn't you shouldn't get to them yet, man. It, you know, let it, let it be a decision when they're older, you know? And, exactly. And, you know? Like, there's some conversations that are just really, really, uh, they're kind of disturbing, man. Like, on some cases, and you kind of just have to, they're curious, man. Kids are curious. They want to know, like, what's this? What's that? Like, they're like sponges, you know? Exactly. And you, like I'm saying you're answering questions. And you're like, hey, I'm not supposed to be answering this question right now. You, I mean, you're not even really old enough to understand what this question is about. But now I'm forced, as a parent, you know, to start talking about things before I want to talk about them. because. It's kind of forced, you know, in their face. So yeah, and I mean, then like, but, I don't, I, shout out DeSantis first of all. Yes, sir. I, I fucks with DeSantis. DeSantis is, he's a G man. I, I feel like him. I feel like he's a G. You know, a lot of people don't agree with you know the the law that's going past right now for after July. I think it's July first. Yeah, it starts July first. Uh, in the state of Florida, you will no longer need a concealed weapons permit to carry a firearm 
on your body or you know in your purse or however you like to carry and you can carry it just like you had a permit how do you feel about that what's your opinion on that well i guess i'm 50 i mean i get it yeah i'm i'm for it but then again i know uh the consequences you know for me in training people now i mean as people that do already have their permit and and are dangerous with they are firearms. they're dangerous they don't know what they they're don't doing. know what they're doing yeah. so imagine not even getting a little bit of training like first when i when i teach my class a concealed weapons class should i say i don't expect people to remember grip you know sight picture whatever i taught them but i do expect them to remember safety i mean that's the most important thing period is safety because you can't take it back once that triggers pull there's a round in that gun you flagging somebody you could be at home you could be at the range you could it could be a child you know or it could go through the wall in the neighbor you cannot take that back so when I'm teaching my concealed weapons classes, if I know that if they don't remember anything else, they're going to remember safety because I stress it and I stress, you know, the consequences of, you know, you know, firing your, uh, firing your, uh, shooting your firearm, you know, and, yeah. and, and yep. shooting your child, you know, sh- shoot, shooting in the wall, negligent, dis- negligent discharge, a negligent discharge. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there's consequences. Of that. So, you you know, safety is the most important thing. Shit. I saw somebody uh, I saw the news like the other day at my grandma's. Uh, some guy was in a rush going to a college class and getting out of his truck. He accidentally sh- like fired the, the pistol. Wow. And, you know, on accident. And like he ended up getting charged with, you know, with the felony and shit like that. Not felony, but like he's getting charged with something. Wow. And See? I was like, and I was like, man, like, you know, it was an accident, you know, just because of just an accident. Now you're getting charged with that. And that because it's, it's a responsibility. I mean, yep. when you when you're carrying a firearm, it's not a toy, it's not a video game, it's not Call of Duty, but it's it's a responsibility to carry a firearm. I mean, there's rules that go to it. There's rules that apply because you're carrying something that can you know potentially take someone's life. So you, you need to carry it a certain way. So I mean, if it, it it is what it is, if that's what he got, and that's what he got. I mean, you gotta you gotta be on your on your stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, with the with the permit, also with the permit. That's why I'm still going to encourage people to go get those. Is there you have your perks? You know you have your perks. So with the permit, if you go do buy a firearm, you don't have to wait. You know where typically if you went without, the, say if you go just you know no 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 permit, you're gonna to have to wait three to five days. Three yeah. days. Some some of my people have been having to wait five days, but three to five days is the waiting period. Where versus if you had the permit, you can walk out with the same day. Also, most importantly, when it comes to traveling, when you're talking about traveling, you know you want to drive to Georgia. Well, you can't take that gun to Georgia if you don't have your concealed weapons permit. You know, so now you, it's on a whole new level. Now, if you if you type of person that don't go nowhere, then hey, fine. But I like to travel, and if yeah. I'm traveling, I'm taking my firearm with me. See, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And you can even on the plane because you know you can wear a pen where you're going. You can you can take it on the plane. Well, if you don't have that concealed weapons permit, you better not be taking that firearm to this other state because um, I mean. You might you're gonna be in for a for a long for a long day, you know, if something were to happen and whatnot. So it has its it has its, its pros and cons. It has its perks, and so I'm gonna always still push. And is most importantly to get the training, you know, to at least get the safety training. And if not, then that's fine. If you don't want to go get your permit, that's fine. I'm gonna then you need to go get some training. Yep. Go find an instructor in your area. Um, go you know take some classes, whatever you can do to make yourself. Uh, good with your tool. That's what you need to do because it, it's, it's going to be it's going to be crazy out here. If you, and if you don't carry a firearm, hey, hey, man, it's up to you guys. It's up to you. It's your choice. You That's know? why I love America. If you rather call the police and wait fucking five minutes and tell the robber, hey, hold on, just wait five minutes for the police come. Well, you know, I'm glad you said that. That's the thing that people don't think about. You always got to wait. You, you got to wait. <laughs> you got to so wait. You, what you going to do for 15 minutes? You going to hide? When you going to run? You going to have your family? You got your kids. You got your wife. You gonna, are y'all going to go hide somewhere? Yeah, let's, let's be real here. You, you know? got time. Time is not your friend. Yeah, bro. You need at least a shotgun at the crib, bro. So at least. At least. At the very least, bro. You know? Do you feel like, do you feel like the state of Florida is going to get more dangerous? Or do you feel like it's going to be less crime because everyone's caring? <sighs> um, it, 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 dangerous it will be people that aren't educated, like I was just we were just talking about, yep. like like incidental shootings. You know, yep. somebody shooting in the house. Um, but they I, say they say statistically, like you know, like people are less to get robbed because they know most of the time the majority are armed. Oh, that's so sure. it's like you know, for sure. 
it's like you know if somebody who would you rather rob you know somebody that you know that doesn't have a gun or somebody that you know it's like yeah, that's for sure it's one of those things well some states have to open carry you know so they you can open stand carry. your ground too yeah, well, but, but when you open carry, everybody see you have a pistol. Oh, that's different, too. That's different. So yeah, it's now, like Kentucky, too, Texas, I think. You know, so you, you're going to go rob this guy. You see him and his homeboy in the car, both of them. Yeah, and they got a revolver around their fucking waist. Yep. I ain't going to fuck around with him. Yeah, keep it moving. So. I ain't going to mess with him, bro. You it's know? Right. Guns, more guns, is, and that's that's the key right now. And you, people act like, oh, wow. Like, like, I saw a video in New York, man. Speaking of guns, today I saw a video in New York of a guy getting shot in the head in a bodega. And I'm like, wow, isn't that wow. funny, man? You know, in New York, it's it's illegal to have a handgun, right? But this guy it still is. got killed with a handgun. So the people think that the law is going to scare people and stop people from buying guns off the streets. It's not. It's uh, not. America is built on guns. There's way too many guns to, to even start with. Like and in guns. I mean, the, there's so many guns in the streets that are even unaccounted for guns. I mean, it, there's more guns than people here. So there's nothing you can do but, get more, but buy more guns and, and, and train yourself and educate yourself and be good with because that's what it's going to come down to. How good is your training? How good are you with your firearm? How good is you with your weapon? That's your weapon. You chose it. That's the one you wanted. How, what can you do with that weapon when it's time? Because yeah. when sh- shit hit the fan, you will drop down to your lowest form of training. So however much training you got, that's what's going, that's what's coming out of you. So yep. if you didn't shot that pistol one time, guess what? That's that's what whatever you you remember with the adrenaline, you you're gonna drop the mag. I mean, you're gonna what would it be jam? Yeah, people don't realize when you're in that situation compared to like what you're training for, it's different. It's, it's totally it's different. It's totally different. Like, so that's why you have to train consistently and and be like consistent with it because one day you're gonna not have that muscle memory of it and it's gonna slip and your adrenaline is real fucking is rushing. You're scared. Your fucking palms are sweaty. You're fucking not ready to go. You're scared to shoot it. Yeah. You know, you're going to think twice about it. Bro, you should not think twice. You should shoot first and then fucking think twice. Yeah, if you, if you got if you got to pull <laughs> if, it. If it's life or death, bro. If you got to pull if, it. If it's not life or death, please don't do that. You have to draw your yeah. weapon in, in that situation. If you, yeah, if you're not scared for your life, just don't fucking do it. It's not worth it, you know? The situation, people think like, oh, I got my license and I got this, that you're not going to get questions. You're not going to get fucking interrogated for like 72 hours. Like, it depends on the situation. Out at a moving car. Oh, if somebody robs your house and they run and they have their back towards you and they're running away from the scene and you shoot them. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You can't shoot nobody. But people don't know that. Well, you can't even, uh, the law, that's why you people have like, to, oh, I'm going to kill them if they take my shit. Like, but there's, you kill them. I've seen situations of people firing a gun. Just shooting in the air, not even killing anybody. Just hey, you know, warning, warning shots, and they went to jail because of it. I seen it. A lady did that with the yeah. Shark. It was a lady. Yeah, I seen it. She did. It. I think that was another state, but um, yeah, it, you, that's why you have to know the law too because you can't protect your possessions with deadly force. So your life, yeah, but if somebody got your million dollars, guess what? If they leaving out the door. You gotta call the police if you shoot them because they stole your your million dollars and they're they don't even have a weapon. They was they just thieves. They running out the door, yeah. but it's yours. Yep. And it's million dollars, so obviously it means a lot to you. You shoot them, you go to jail. That's so crazy. You, you have to know the law. You can't. But then there's other states where you can protect your possessions like that. So it's just you. That's why you have to get trained and you, and you got to pay attention to if you decide you want to be carrying this firearm every day because the, the, the laws are so wavy. That line. That line goes up and now you will think you're right. And guess what? You're not. You're not. You're going to jail. And how do you feel about people having insurance? Like, you know, you ever see that insurance type shit where like, you know, it guarantees you a really good lawyer, guarantees you like, you know, a whole bunch of shit. I I, I have that actually. Yeah. I I have that. I mean, it's it's worth it unless you got, unless you have your own personal you know, lawyer anyway. If you don't have that, why not? Um, have somebody ready to go for you because if you have Exactly what they specialize in. Exactly. And, And they're all over the country. Yep. So you can be, I can be in it's like on, on vacation and, it's, and, and, it's, I, and it's something happened. Yeah. It's a membership. It's and a membership. And something happened. They're yeah. going to have somebody in that state come to see me, come take care of me, come get me out. You know, so, I mean, it's, it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. There's a lot of differences between like, you know, USA and Norway and, and, and all these European countries, you know, like UK, for instance, you know, like 21 Savage's brother got stabbed. He didn't get shot. He got stabbed, bro. They do stabbings, bro. Different lifestyle, um, you know, different laws. You know, for instance, my, my family, I'm having a region. I, I know I say this shit all the fucking time, but um, family over there and they disagree with, you know, the law that just passed with DeSantis. And it's like, man, like you came here like one time, like 
it's like it's like you don't understand the lifestyle that it's it's it's, it's not as safe. Yeah. Well, uh, foreigners they can never relate because they're not from here. So they, they are, their thought on firearms is totally different. I mean, America, like I said from the beginning, was built on guns. So there's always been firearms. So there's always been a shit ton of firearms. I mean, in one way or the other, um, the other countries won't like that. Are there? They took it from them. But they're you know you go to uh, it's Australia. Australia they took all their firearms. You don't want that because a weapon, a gun is just a weapon of choice. Just like you said, they're stabbing them there. If somebody want to do something to you, if they really want to do you, it. They're going to kill you. They're going to do it. There's you. people that will kill you with their bare hands. Exactly. Bro. So I, I, give me the chance to protect myself, you know, and it, it, it's more gruesome, say, with the stabbing. If dude come here and stab 30 people, I'd rather see 30 shot people than 30 stab people. Means, yeah, because stabbing is more like, it's, it's more, more personal. It, it's it, more personal. And they say that people that get stabbed or they stab people. I've seen cases where, like, you know, it's more for love. Mm -hmm. It's like from the heart. It's like, bro, like, I really want to, I want you to have this pain. Like, exactly, exactly, exactly. Know, it's nice more personal. It's, it's more personal. Yeah. You know? But then, well, then you have some crazy people that just, like, how did you see uh, the Cash App guy? He got stabbed. Yeah, he got and stabbed. It was by but, somebody else, by like another CEO or, you know, somebody else, somebody he knew, bro. It was somebody that was already rich, already got their shit together, something that they had against them. And, they found out who it was. That's crazy, man. RIP him. They, they will find. If, if they want to know, they will find. You know, a lot of people are getting arrested. Let's say like Donald Trump. Shout out Donald Trump, though. You know what I mean? He's, he's, he went to the UFC fight. Yeah. <laughs> he was out on bail, bro. <laughs> Trump keeping it 100. He, he was out on bail, bro. Yeah, they messing with that man, though. They, uh, they messing with him. They going in on the man. Yeah, they don't want him to be president because they ain't know what time it is. I mean, I'm gonna keep it 100. When I mean, Trump money, was in office, money was flowing. Money boy. was flowing, bro. Like money the time was flowing. Was, I remember having an extra fucking buck in my pocket because of fucking there you Trump, go. bro. I yeah. ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. The gas was low. Gas and you was know low. what? And you know what, bro? Let's be real. People used to be like, oh, if you talk about gas, you're broke. All right, but think about like the truck drivers and and all these motherfuckers. I gotta pay for gas, bro. Bro, the, my guy that brings me dirt for to the property. He had to stop because the gas was too high for him. He got dump trucks. Yeah, so that's his business. He had to stop diesel, doing man. it. Doing it. He's like, bro, he delivered it last year. He said, this is my last time. I, I, I can't keep up with this gas. The gas just keep going up. It, it's not worth it for him to go pick the dirt up and drop it off. And he has, you know, five, six dump trucks. So the gas, we were using our own gas. I mean, now we're buying it from somebody else. Why? Why? If you buy from somebody, they can tell you what you got to pay. I don't. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not for that. We was using our own gas. We use. We got more gas. You know how much gas we got? We can sell gas. Yeah. That's how much we have in reserve, yeah. bro. Yeah. I mean, exactly. it, it doesn't make any sense. But and I mean, we don't want to tap into it. You know what I mean? And what are we saving it for? I mean, but and, and it keeps producing. Yeah. So it's it's just it's politics, bro. It's all politics. People making plays, getting money. You know, World War World War Three is about to happen. Hey man, if it do, and if it do. I don't know what's gonna happen. Do you feel like the draft is gonna come back? Like, and, and if it does come, if it does come back, how do you feel about that? Because in Norway, you got to be at least one year in the military when you turn eighteen. I don't know if they still do that, but recently, in the past ten years, I think they stopped. But that's how it was. My dad, my uncles, and all that had to spend at least one year in the military. Do you feel like they should do that here? And do you agree with it? I mean, I, th I still think it. It should be a choice, man. Okay. I mean, and, and, and now if we need, like, if we're going we're, and we're short. I mean, I mean we're kind of short on men anyways, man. Every man want to be a fucking woman nowadays. So I don't, <laughs> I don't even know if, if there's a draft and we're going to oh, have man. fucking manly, like, nah. Oh, man. Bro, come on, hey, man. You he know? said what he said. Hey, bro. I got to say what I got to say, man. The thing is, I would go out there. I would go. I know I'm a little too old now, but I mean, I you know, I would go. I still go now. They call me if, if we if we need. If, yeah, if we if need, we need like, we're like we're short of guys. Let's like, go. Bro, let's like, get it. God, let's man, get it. I'm we gotta sorry. take Especially care. Especially if home. I got kids and stuff, exactly. bro. Exactly. Because what happens if we don't do nothing? It's like the the Spartans, bro. The Spartans would have backed down. You, you know what I mean? Even though they died too, but they, you but know, they, they, but, but the they, big thing is they fought. Yeah, you know what I mean? They fought, bro. They told they their wife, fighting. they're like, bro, we probably not gonna make it back, bro. But we gonna go fight though. Yeah. We're not gonna let all this happen. Yeah. See, but you know, America is one thing we won't get invaded. America, nobody will try to never try to invade America because there are so many firearms. They say for every blade of grass, there's a gun. And so we never have to worry about nobody, you know, pulling up until we finna come take it over. 
Now, nuclear and all that other stuff, that's a whole different thing. But yeah. somebody actually pulling up on, on America, it won't yeah. happen. Yeah, like it nuclear, like we got no control over that, bro. Like y'all can have that, bro, because hey, I don't have no nukes, bro. I can't do nothing with it, bro. I yeah. need to try to dig, find somewhere to go underground. Now they're doing like chemical warfare. Like you hear, you hear what happened in Ohio with all that spill and all that yep, shit. Yep, and, yep, yep, yep. and now they're talking about like there's there's a video, bro. Sure. Um, So this lady, man, she's. She's like, oh, yeah, they're in the farm, bro, in the middle of nowhere. They're like, yeah, you know, we don't see birds anymore. It's weird. We don't see any birds chirping. We don't see wow. any birds. We don't see any animals. We don't see wow. anything. We don't see anything. And I'm like, man, like, and then they start talking about, like, the landscape is, like, different. It's like they can't breathe. They're certain, like, they, they feel different. Like, they feel pain in their chest. It's the chemtrails, bro. They're doing, there's something that's going on, bro, like, you know, from that spill that it's fucking people up and it's fucking the environment up, bro. I, I mean, did. I did see that that people were sick, and I mean, but I mean, do you really you feel like the, like look at Flint, Michigan? Do you think they fucking fixed that water? No, Flint. these people are still fucked up over there, and it's they crazy. didn't do anything. So why do you put so much trust into the government if they can't even take care of a fucking simple problem of that? Man, I'm. I always like, said government. I got family members I can't trust. So I'm going to trust some men to do, so government to like, do everything best for me. Like, like, think about it. Like, I don't want to bring it up again, like the word, because I might get banned. But like, imagine, bro, when this little fucking seasonal shit happened in 2020 and, and everyone shut down and everything shut down That's and right. people were putting stuff in their bodies that they weren't supposed to. Bro, no one, mm. people, what happened to it now? It's all gone. It's all gone. We don't, even, we don't talk about we that. Don't, we don't talk Shh. about it. It's all talk gone. You know, and what happened to the people that were calling me dumb and doing all this stuff? And now everyone's quiet, bro. Bro, I, I they, got called the same thing. I, I mean, I, matter of fact, I posted in my story today uh, from my memory. And it was, a, it was a, a post during that time. And I had a flashback on how serious it was. Bro, it was serious out here. Like, I mean, everything got shut down. I mean, motherfuckers were scared. I ain't gonna lie. I was, at first, they got me. I was scared. I was like, yeah, like Dolph, oh, I don't come Dolph, by man. me. Don't touch me. Yeah. Don't come over my house. Don't call me. Yeah, you know? like Young Dolphin made a video from his house talking about like wearing masks and wearing stuff. Masks, and I was bro. like, man, like. Shout out to Dolph, I mean, too. I mean, what? I know. Shout out to him, man. You know. I'm just saying, Dolph, you motivate me. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, man, like, what's crazy right now is that, like, what's gonna be worth investing into, right? You know, people talk about gold, people talk about silver, people talk about stocks, people talk about crypto. Uh, what's your thoughts of like when it comes to bullets versus gold? I mean, when things really hit the fan, like. Nah, I mean, shit, when shit hit the fan, you can keep your gold. Because I, I got bullets, I take it. <laughs> if shit hit the fan, like I got no bullets, so we, can, we can take your gold. If shit, if shit, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. But, but that's why I said, guns, guns and ammo aren't always, always a good investor because they hold value. Yeah. Also, as well, yeah, and true. depending on what's going on, uh, you may get more for that ammo, or you may get more for them guns because you can't get it no more. It's true. So, well, you don't ever feel bad about spending a thousand dollars on a firearm, yeah. or, or you know, a couple thousand dollars on some ammo, yeah. Because you can you can shoot the gun first of all and still sell it and get and and get your money back. People prefer a, a used gun over yes, a sir. new one. They do because it, they know it works. It works. It's broken. Would now. you rather have mm-hmm. yeah those new guns? You don't know it's hit or miss. People don't know that. Yep. Yep, yep. So I'm I'm gonna go with bullets, bro. Give me the bullets. You can keep your gold. Like I said, I get enough bullets. We can take it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, bro. I'll take the gold, bro. Oh, For shit real. They the say fan. it's gonna go back to like the wild, wild west type shit. You know? Hey. I don't man, know, I can man. See it. People people say, oh, this will never happen, but like, come on, bro, let's be real. Like, let's be real. Anything's possible, bro. They shut off the power grid, it's a wrap. Anything's possible. I mean, we like you said, we just had a, a, the whole everything got shut down for a whole week. Um, no, no movement. Everybody looking at each other like, like you're a weirdo or you got it. And yeah, that was that was some different times, bro. Yeah, I remember my son and he was he was terrified. He looked at me like, "Daddy, what's going on?" You know, I'm like, I tell him, "Hey, man." I mean, right now this is what's go- this is what it is. And then when uh, I I caught it, I caught it in like July, and of course I I caught it, and so the rest of the house got it. And man, though it was like two weeks, though that was the craziest two weeks of my life. But I luckily I caught it the second strand. I can only imagine what the first strand felt yeah, like because that like, it kicked my ass, bro. The thing is, bro, it like, kicked my ass. Man, that shit, that shit fucking killed some people that I knew, bro. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, and, and it's not even like it's killing healthy people. It's the people that are already unhealthy. Yep, 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 yep. You know, I got like shit wrong with them already that they were taking out like. 
You know what I mean? It's not, it didn't really affect the people that were like super healthy and normal it and all that not. shit. You know, there was a couple cases where it's like, oh, they never had nothing, but for the most part, for the most part, it was, it was mostly like older people and, and people that had shit or even one of my boys, George, he had diabetes. He was going, you know, he, he wasn't in the best shape. Gotcha. Ended up passing away. He had a, um, he had a heart attack and then, oh, was he? Uh, he's probably like late thirties, maybe mid forties. 40s man, man. like you know Shout like, out to him man yeah like probably like early 40s Jeez. like he was young man he wasn't he wasn't an old guy at all so um Damn. he told me man he used to watch podcasts all the time man he tell me all up. the time man. he'd be like yo we used to smoke back and he wanted to make a sign like you know like he wanted to help out like he was always supportive man supportive. So, that's what's up man he invited me to his uh christmas party and shit like i still like i still take care of like you know his family and shit like and, shit, uh, bro, his, that, his son was in my rotc class he was we graduated that's how you know what i mean his son is the same age as me he was in uh, korea you know so um but yeah bro he's a good dude that's what's up that's yeah what's you up, know man. you gotta remember the people that support you bro yes sir and especially they no longer here, you know, you gotta give people their flowers, man. It's always good to give people their flowers, man. People deserve them flowers, so give it to them. Your loved ones or anybody you know, they deserve it, don't hesitate to give it to them because you're gonna talk about it when they're gone. But I know me, I'd rather hear mine now. Don't talk about me when I ain't here. Don't tell, don't talk about what a good person I was. Somebody tell me that shit now yeah. so I can be an even better person. It's true, man. You know, a lot of people be just dying left and right for no reason. Yes, sir. No reason. You could just walk out this fucking crib right now and be like, you know what? And that'll be your last ride. Man. That's it. Don't That's make it home, man. So live your fucking life. What are you gonna do for the for the weekend, bro? Uh I'm working. Always working, brother. I got a guy class tomorrow. Uh probably put in me. I gotta do some work for myself also. Yeah. And then Sunday, uh, I got another class to go. I got a class to go to on Sunday, so Go holler at my boy Technical Methods. Shouts out to Technical Methods as well. Man, shut up. That's the brother. Yes, sir. Yo, man. I'm getting into golf if you can't know if you noticed, sir. That's what's up, bro. Golf is good. Golf is, is peaceful. I tried, man. I ain't gonna lie. You know, bro. I'm I'm probably I was swinging that bitch. sticks over there. I got some embarrassing stories, you know, when it came to dog <laughs> golf, but it's it's uh it's one of those things where it's like when it comes to business and, and, and you know, trying to rub shoulders and... and, and it goes with it. it, 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 it I, I can see that. It makes... It's kind of like cigars. Yes, sir. You know, you ever hang out, you're like, you know, man, I want to go to a classy place, man, but nothing too crazy. Let's go to the fucking cigar lounge, man. Golf, Every, golf does go with your profession, though, bro. It, it does. does. It does, big That's time. That's how you close a deal at, on the golf course, you know? Yeah, oof. That's true, mm-hmm. bro. That's mm-hmm. true. Making moves. What do you what do you got to say, man? What do you got to say, man, to to your family, to you know the people that that support you hundred um, uh, percent? What do you got to say to the Dope Talk family too? Dope Talk, I fucks with y'all. It's my boy John, man. It's my guy. Um, he always working as well. I salute to him. Dope Dope Podcast always. Uh, and all my people, man. Y- y'all know I got love for y'all. Shouts out to Almighty. Shouts out Tech Daddy. Shouts out to Tech. Shouts out to Interiors by Eric. And uh, shouts out to GLT, man. You know, you got to make moves. It's 2023. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. You know how we do it, bro. Yo, man, I appreciate you coming by, man. My guy. Uh, yo, you dropped some gems tonight. Sir. And uh, yo, hopefully you come back soon, bro. You already know. My guy. All right, we out. Yep. Yeah.